with me from Veltec Multitech, Dr. RR SR Engineering College. I am here to explain about hybrid converter with simultaneous AC DC output for nano grid application using residential system. And nano grid architectures have been increasing incorporated in modern smart residential electrical power systems. And these systems actually they involve both AC as well as the DC types as well as efficiently interface with different kinds of energy sources that is conventional as well as non-conventional using power electronic converters as you can see in this circuit diagram. And this type of architecture has separate power converters for AC to DC conversion and DC to AC conversion. This paper we propose a family of hybrid converter which can simultaneously produce DC as well as AC outputs which can see here. These topologies have been realized by control of switch single switch boost converters with a voltage source bridge network as you can see here and the resulting hybrid converter requires less number of switches to provide DC and AC output with an increased reliability and resulting shoot through protection in the inverter state. Such multiput output with better processing density and reliability can be suited for the system with simultaneous DC and AC loads. For example, nano grid in residential application and this proposed converter studied in this paper is a boost derived hybrid converter you can see here is been obtained from the conventional boost topology and the switches have been triggered by efficient SVM method to support the harmonics present in the output stage and this is the SVM technique we have been implied here and there are the three RPS which have been used and nano grid architectures actually have been again incorporated in the modern electrical power system and here we use DC source in order to get an AC output as well as an AC output will be get and a conventional VSI hybrid converter would involve the use of dead time circuitry to avoid the shoot through also mitigating turn off switches may take place due to supervised noise resulting in damage of switches for a compact system and signal generation in a common place and so VSI is being replaced here only because of high reliability with appropriate measures against shoot through and the EMI induced mitigating. About the existing system, uh, quasi exit source inverter or in the existing system. In the existing system, using boost converter, only DC output could be applied. To obtain the AC output, there is a necessity of the inverter, so only DC and AC can be applied. The size of the traditional single state topology must be more handled in the PV voltage. Two stages structure increasing cost and the reduced efficiency. Is it source inverter in the engine system? It has just two states, namely shoot through process or non shoot through process state. Shoot through process produced due to the one leg and a combination of two legs, all or the three legs. During this stage, reverse bias voltage and the diode is make it get off. So, PV voltage can be handled by exit source inverter, thus leading to reduced capacity of inverter and less number of components, thereby the system cost reduced. In solar power, as the problem like fluctuation and the intensity. In order to overcome this problem, energy storage is done here. Any alternating form of load or a grid can be supplied continuously with stable and smooth run from the energy stored PV systems, usually bidirectional DC converter or used in the existing system. Difficult to achieve the high boost gain, shoot through causes instability in the circuit, cannot be able to run more than one load simultaneously. Implementation with the SPWM technique, high harmonic distortions are found here due to many switches are available and about the proposed system of this circuit. Conventional boot circuit as the controlled switches and other is implemented using the diode. Hybrid converter can be realized by replacing the controlled switches in the boost circuit with the voltage source inverter. Either single phase or the three phase VSI. The resulting converter is called the boost derived hybrid converter. I am Ali and here to explain about ACM technique. Space ETA refers to special switching sequence upper uh, three, power, 3 power transistor of a 3 phase power inverter. It has been shown to generate less harmonic output voltages and current supply the phases of AC motor and uh, provide more efficient use, use of the supply voltage compared the sinusoidal modulation technique. To implement the space vector PWM, the voltage equation in the ABC reference frame can be transformed in this stationary DQ reference frame that consists of the horizontal and vertical axis. Project has the vital application they are. It is primarily utilized for the data acquisition in which sensor signals must be normalized and filtered to levels suitable for analog to digital conversion so they can be read by computerized devices. Other uses include process pre-processing signals in order to reduce computing time uh, converting the range of data to boolean values for example when knowing when a sensor has reached certain value. Types of devices that use signal conditioning included signal filters, instrument amplifiers, sampled and hold amplifiers, isolation amplifiers, 
சீக்கிரம் ஐசோலேட்டர் மல்டிப்ளெக்ஸர் ஃப்ரிட்ஜ் க கண்டிஷனர்ஸ் அண்ட் லாக் டூ டிஜிட்டல் கன்வெர்ட்டர் டிஜிட்டல் டூ அண்ட் லாக் கன்வெர்ட்டர் ஃப்ரீக்வன்